One of the saddest endings to a show I've ever seen. A flashback shows that, contrary to Fry's assumption, Seymour faithfully obeyed his last command, and starting from the day Fry disappeared, the dog waited in front of Panucci's pizza for him for 12 years, until he eventually couldn't muster the strength to continue and lay down to eternally rest. When Fry takes Bender to a museum exhibit, he is shocked to find a fossilized dog on display, which he recognizes as his pet dog Seymour from over 1,000 years prior. Professor Farnsworth then examines Seymour's body and concludes that a DNA sample can be made to produce a clone, and it would be even possible to create Seymour's personality and memory. Fry begins to prepare for the dog, and Bender becomes jealous. Just when the professor is ready to clone Seymour, Bender arrives. Angry that Fry will not spend time with him, he grabs the fossil and throws it in a pit of lava, believing that destroying it will restore his friendship with Fry. However, Fry is furious at Bender and extremely upset at having lost Seymour. Bender realizes how much Seymour really means to Fry and apologizes for what he did. With this in mind, Bender dives into the lava and recovers the fossil. The professor begins the cloning process, and his computer informs him that Seymour died at the age of 15, meaning he lived 12 years after Fry was frozen. Upon realizing this, Fry aborts the cloning process, believing that Seymour must have moved on with his life, found a new owner, and forgotten about him. But this will lead to